My name's Kieran Hansen. In the summer of 2011, I stayed in Freetown, the capital city of Sierra Leone. 50 years since independence from the British, and nine and a half years since the end of the rebel war. Life remains a struggle for most of the city's inhabitants, but some are answering these challenges with a new era of creativity, utilizing media technology, international connections, and their own hard-learned resourcefulness. I regularly met and collaborated with three such people. Arthur, Paps, and KP. This is Arthur, a pastor, youth organiser and manager at We Own TV, a media education programme established by American filmmakers for the disenfranchised youth of Freetown. There was a time when my spiritual life suffered a great deal because of my filmmaking, especially when I got to, start, when I started working with you in TV. Because I mean, for a long time, I had to forgo the church. It's not, that I, it's not that that was my desire, but it's like, I want to see, you know, the organization stand and I want to see it working properly. So that was a sacrifice I had to make. The camera itself, they tell the story. And sometimes you retire. So, you understand me? Or, you press on my body if you hand the shake too much, you understand me? Make you get what you want. You understand me? Make you get what you want. So if you're able to do these kind of things, right, the only camera like you, baby, you do what you want for doing. You get the right shot you want to take. See something. What's in that thing, say, we need? I know you need to be slave. That's fine, I know you need to be slave. Able. They think it's going to be about this. So, just get the costume, make sure that everything done inside the tunnel. You had to see stories of um, black resistance to slavery. So, this is one such story called the resistance. It's about the resistance that the local people built in Sierra after years of relying solely on foreign media, Sierra Leoneans are beginning to tell their own stories, though a lack of infrastructure leads to struggles at every step. we are saying we all see the union and we got to guide to everything here so <laughs> at least when we come and talk to you please let's use this place for just a few minutes at least you should give us the chance Action. Action. Of course, of course. Bango, bango! Bosca! Bosca! 
There are people who came into Wion TV who thought that there was nothing for them in life. As a result of them being involved in Wion TV, they found a new spirit, they found a new purpose in life. You understand me? They become ambitious, they want to go for higher goals. Looking at that process as how people change gives me the faith that things are also going to change for me. It's changing me, it's changing others, and it's helping me to grow. I'm not saying we should not accept help from outside. So now, that's what we need. When you have help from outside, would, do you have to just depend on that help or do you need to make something out of it so that when that help, when, when the, the pulse from which that help is coming from dies down, what do you do? How do you survive? As Sierra Leone has no effective copyright law, nor any real structure to support artists and filmmakers. No one makes a living from selling their films and music here. No one, except the piraters, that is. Even with outside help, the path to success in Freetown can be as rocky as the hillside roads. This is the wall. If you can, if you can see clearly, it's B A P S. So you can see P-A-P-S, that's me, <laughs> that's Pabs. Pabs is a vocal artist fighting for a high profile in Freetown's competitive music industry. That we use, the picture that we use for the front cover for the debut album is down a beat. So let's just take a walk. Yeah. All these ideas were Ed's idea together with me, actually, because I wanted to call my, my album Street Talent, because why? Because of the struggling and the hustling before I meet him. And uh, he decided to let us make a, a company called Street Talent Production so we can, you know, try to make it big. You know, open the door. And here we go. And I used to sit here, you know, writing song if I have inspiration. In the daytime, I would just get this door open. You know, get this door open so I'll get fresh here. Mm. You know, write some stuff. This one um, is this wall that we start on that I show you when the wall was fresh. This is the idea of Ed say, to write my name, Street Talent. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this. This is Ed. This is the last picture, basically. Richest man came in this country 2005. I think he was doing, he was getting money from his, the people that sponsor him on his project to come and do this research. They asked me, we can use this money that I'm supposed to use for the hotel fee and live with you because you have a place for free. Then I say, yeah, we can use the money to do the album. So that is what we do. So Ed was living with me. It was dark anyway. It was raining heavy. He wanted to like dodge a ditch. He couldn't bring the steering back to the road. So they have to crash. Ed tried to go off the car through the window and uh, and broke his neck, so uh, it died automatically. My life, my, my, my friend, my hope, you know, because there are another plans that we're supposed to do the album, the first album, debut. it's just a debut, it's not to make a big boom, no. So we just wanted to show me, show me at the, the forefront. I was looking for a job, my mom died by, when I was three years old, there, there was no one at that moment. So I have, to, I have to start doing something for myself so that I will get something to live with. Another friend called Martin that I have a link with Ed. So Martin was getting more believed that I have this talent, that if the support is there, I'll make it. So Martin's behind me strong. They build a website for me and uh, do Alvat for me and different things, put my first album there. And uh, they have to get this single and put it on iTunes and so. So people are buying. As I'm speaking to you now, I just have a call last week and say I've sold, I think, my from my debut album, I've sold, I think, four copies and 200 of this single, so it's a great news. Uh, I'm going to be here for two or three days. Let me say from now, now on to Monday, and I'm moving to another place. I just have to move.
pressure has been mounting on the government to pass the copyright bill, but until then, the creative minds of Freetown are on their own. With no government funding, it's often local investors keeping the film industry afloat. This is Mohamed Jani, founder of Visual Art Studio and local wide boy entrepreneur. This is Alfred Panna, or KP, creative heart of Visual Art Studio, cameraman and editor on their hit film, Dark Side of Life. For effective work, and for creative reason, I have to spend the whole of the night sometime here, especially during the day, I cannot be able to work because of visitors. For the best editor of 2000 and 2011, yeah, this, I won the prize in Sierra Leone, and I'm proud of it. And for this, this is um, second best camera operator, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I really try to, to do my level best by playing with the camera. I have so many shots that are very, very dangerous sometimes. You can say this, it's one of the most dangerous shots. As you can see, this place is a highway, right? I'm on top of another bike while a vehicle are coming here and there. But this is the particular shot that the director wants. This guy coming this way and behind him there's a, a big lorry that is passing. You see, the, the, this is a very dangerous shot actually. And sometimes I have a sleepless night because people keep on calling me, you know, who is this actor? You know, I want to meet with this girl. There's a little girl in the movie. This is the girl I have a photograph of. She's been featured in Dark Side of Life. Actually, uh, she's my daughter. And uh, she's uh, very brilliant. And uh, I can see the, the water. Daddy, I miss you, you love the every day. Coming down from my eyes, you know. This makes this girl very, very unique, you know. Dark Side of Life, actually, there was not all that uh, much addict because the man who is the producer Ghana, made things easier, if I could say so. He's uh, a little bit uh, financially strong. He's a businessman. He do different type of business, deal with oil. At the same time, he's working with Airtel, one of the big network, I mean, communication network in Sierra Leone. Jane, for now he has the passion for the game, not the money he's looking for. So he has said that for the first three, four, five movies he's going to do, right, he's not looking for the money, but he wants to promote the Alunia movie. So a man like that, I think, is the best man to work with. Also, um, um, the issue of political willingness to have the right rules and regulations for us. For example, the individual um, um, property ownership um, um, rights bill is still in parliament, has not been passed yet. So nobody knows what's happening with piracy, and piracy is killing us. You understand me? Piracy is actually killing us here in Sierra Leone. <laughs> As piracy is the big business in town, with a lack of other job prospects, it's also a big employer of the city's youth. Let me show you an example about the piracy I've been telling you about. And uh, I have a friend here, a brother in Sierra Leone, and he's a salesman of some of the cities. Yeah. Well, this is Salon Mix, world best VCD. And, uh, we have different, different artists. This is a VCD, the videos. You know, there is not much to do. There is not much work for people to do, for young people to do. So definitely they are searching themselves to see what they can do to, to live their own life. So that's the other part. That's the, 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 the government part of the thing. So what these guys are doing is like trying to see where they can do their own petty trading to get what they want. Yeah. You are making the money, yes, you are making yes. money. Obviously, so, so that is why. 
I'm saying I'm not so happy. Yeah, because you are not doing the right thing, but there is a change one day. Just whenever you are you are doing something, just I'm in the face. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I have a call from, from the UK now. Hello, Martin. How are you? I'm fine, man. And you? Oh, yeah, good. Um, I, I was going to talk to you about the music we sold. I know that you're, you're trying to start the video now. So, we have to got money from iTunes. What I was thinking of doing is, I've, I've spoken to Kieran about this, and um, in order to get the money to you as quickly as possible, we were thinking of using using his bank account. So I'll transfer the money to him. Okay. And then he can get the money to you. Look, you All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I was just talking to uh, you know my friend uh, in the UK, and um, he's doing all the stuff for me. He's putting. He's taking care of my website and he was telling me about the money. We were stuck in the business talk. I'm so I'm so happy because uh, I was actually waiting for this money a long time. You know, Amazon and iTunes, they want to pay me quick. <laughs> so, but now I'm happy anyway. Um, it gives me more confidence. It's a big song. If I, if I do the video, people will go crazy more in Sierra Leone and all over the world. So I think it's a it's a bold step. It's a big bigger step for me. You know, you know believe, believe me, me on the super stage and do that craziness. Wipe away the laziness. It's time for seriousness. What the gal em want? What the gal em need? What the gal em want? What the gal em need? What the gal em want? Let's find somewhere to park and then we should take a walk. <laughs> and there is hole here in front of you. <laughs> now she's coming. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Wow. Kayan, where Kayan is filming, you know, look at Yagi. Just there about the business. No laugh. So you have been talking about malaria. Actually, imagine a small child like that one. She's suffering from, from malaria now. She's crying. You can see from her face. You see how 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 pale his face is. Yeah. And the mouth, even the lips are not too good. Let me just get some shots of you so that I can have, have a making of you. You can go on. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. We have been here for all, all this while. From after the war, we have, been, we have been here and we are managing. Although we are proposing to, to forge ahead to move elsewhere. 
many people in the area don't even talk Creole to, to her. They always speak English. Hey, Pes, how are you today? I'm fine. They, they just like the way... Yes, because many people want me to be yeah. friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many like one girl today. The girl said he want to come and know my house. And he said on Monday after school, let me collect her to come in my house. She's nice now. I think I'm finding my way very slowly. I'm heading towards success. It's just a matter of time. People are praising me that I know how to how to work. KP is very accurate in his in his work. But in the end, I don't have anything enough. You know, I just the money that I only uh, that I get, I just give my wife for feeding and then pay some of my bills. And in the end, I sit as if as if I haven't done anything. For now, it is better compared to before because time things are very very difficult um, compared to now. Um, those days, you know, sometimes I don't even want to explain it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think of it. I only um, want to send them back for me to get a child or to get FS at that time. It was a very, very controversial issue. All my property, everything that was, I was earning my camera, everything was burned down. So to, even to start life was very, very difficult for me. I think I'm taking that now. And I'm making my, my, my daughter the instrument to interpret some of those ugly things that used to happen during the time of war. Yeah. Hi. Yes. What you go do now? This day happen to me every morning. But uh, this is not the thing we for close to ourselves and strongly with prayers so that we will be able to overcome this. Hey. Yeah, boom. Hello, my sister. I don't know how you they feel. You no need for two to come to Iwala and you eat. Get all the way for solve the problem. Fanta self don't do one. Me self self don't do one. It's easy. You know that same again, no? Because you ask this word, I said they go so. We don't get up for tomorrow.
in my last few days in Freetown, the government called an urgent sitting of parliament, and the artists and musicians of the city turned out in force. This bill itself will create a platform where all Sierranians who are creative will benefit out of their creativity. Artists and also intellectual properties, not only musicians. Honorable members of parliament, I now move that it be entitled the Copyright Act 2011 be read the third time and passed into law. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those against say nay, the aye serve it. I know that the passing of this bill is the platform for me to be uh, a big producer in Sierra Leone. Now I can produce my films, and uh, now I can make something out of what I do, and the financial aid is going to change my life. When your financial base doesn't change, you just keep yourself in one small corner. But when you have the ability now to spread out, you spread it out, man. We go in places. We're going. We're going higher. The sky's our limit. I won't even say the sky's our limit. You know, the moon is my limit for now. <laughs> yeah.